Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. I'm Google and I'm here with the love of my life. Kiara Birendozi. And we are your, your favorite, favorite queer, queer couple. couple. And we have 1,000 yeah. subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> so Woo. this video is our celebratory 1K subscribers video. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. Yeah, no, definitely. Thank you so much to all our subscribers. Welcome. Welcome From the back. day one subscribers yes. to the new subscribers. Thank you so much yeah. for supporting us and being with us through this journey. Yeah. It's been a very like long journey, very like highs and lows, so yeah. many highs. Ins and outs. Yeah. <laughs> Times where we're just getting tired and feeling like, are we ever going to get to 1K subscribers? But we got here and we're celebrating it and yeah so today the plan for the video is that we're going to say each of our top three favorite youtube videos that we've posted and then we're gonna let you guys know what are the top three most viewed videos and we're just gonna talk about it and just celebrate and just have a good time yeah so guys please in the description box mm. um let's jot down this is um looking down King memory lane walking down yeah, walking memory down lane. memory lane yes what are your guys' favorite moments yeah. that you've liked yeah what you are know? your favorite videos yeah how how has it been being part of this like mm. family and this journey yeah. with us yeah you know and shout outs and once again from my side and guru's side thank you Thank you. Thank you so Thank much. You. Yeah. yeah. So step number one, we gotta pop a bottle. Yes. You <laughs> pop a bottle of shampoo. Oh, oh. Yeah. This okay. was donated by one of my friends. Thank you very much. Was it a donation or she just came over and you She came it? over and I promised her that or she left it and then I promised her that Bona CC, when you come back we'll pop it together. But... So now we'll have to replace it. Because this is now <laughs> in use for our celebration yeah okay do you want to open it oh no you can i always open you okay open fine <laughs> i'm excited cue the music hey what song is it what song must you play i have no that's idea that's my best friend no we can't that's copyright no like i'll sing it for you I'll oh okay okay sing it okay do you know the lyrics that's my best friend she a real one and a whole lot and a whole lot and a whole i knew she nah. didn't know and the and lyrics and it's like hold up is that my bestie in the tessie yeah, that's, that's all you know <laughs> <laughs> okay but i love that song okay so before you pop you have to say like you know like to this and this no okay 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 so like a toast yes i thought that's when we drink, drink. but it's okay, fine just okay. a small one and then okay. we drink another fine, one fine. so this is a toast to us yes to creating this baby together yes. this is literally one like the one big project that we've worked yes. on together yeah. and it's yes, been a, true. yeah it's been amazing yeah. lots of meetings yes <laughs> lots of disagreements Went and like lots of fun fun yeah it's mostly like, been fun though yeah it just feels like doing something with your best friend so yeah it's been really fun i'm so glad we did this Me and too. here's to many more subscribers <laughs> many more memories and just many more videos literally i'm telling you watch we this are. space we are we have so many plans literally so many ideas literally. and we just need literally. to implement them literally. and just do them and we need your support because we yes. do it for you guys yes. and i'm telling you me what i've always said that we are your favorite queer couple yeah, no matter that you, you came up with that yes, yeah yes. okay let me okay. okay let's open before now we get what to oh, no, I'm three two one, two. one. Oh! Ooh, 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 it's coming. oh it's not coming up <laughs> i just saw the bubbles me coming too, up honey girl. Okay, oh, that girl is a club couch, honey. Honestly, and it's a white couch. Like, we cannot mess up with this couch. Cool. That's my best friend. Guys, look at these things. You know, when you have a drink. And what you a want... side table. Yeah. Wanna... Look, <laughs> look where I'm going. At the bottom. <laughs> I have a side. TV stand. A side TV stand. Yeah, a side TV stand. Yeah, I know. Okay. Um. Okay guys, so I hope everyone has a glass also in their hands, <laughs> even if it's water, even if it's juice, even, even if, if it's shampoo <laughs> form. Join us guys, um, I think the toast? the toast is to many more, mm -hmm. um, to good times, mm -hmm. to many more memories, mm -hmm. and I think to us honestly, 
fulfilling the purpose of the channel yes which is not only which is to grow the understanding and the knowledge of queer people yes and the real things that we face yes but most importantly just to showcase queer people yeah and how and beautiful queerness. we are and just also just showcasing queer love literally and just you know the yeah. magic that is in and it. to growth and growing yes yeah. and yeah man i'm really proud of us for yes. doing this and for following yeah. through through the highs and lows even yeah. when we were, felt like oh we're getting discouraged we still yeah. stayed as consistent yeah. as we could and i'm really proud of us yeah so yeah uh -uh, it didn't go thing as that one. okay okay i guess <laughs> i <not>. heard it <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right let's get started oh okay okay you go oh i really like it okay so my first Okay, I'll start obviously with number three, two, one. Nice oh, message. we're going like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, like yeah, one yeah. is at the end. Okay. Yes. So my, for my top three, my third most favorite video that we've ever posted is the, what is it? The birthday surprise. Okay. We went to, the birthday surprise vlog Which where one? I surprised her at Simon's Town. Oh, okay. Yes, that Why? one. Because it was your birthday and like it was really nice to surprise you like that yeah. and it was yeah. really nice to capture it and also I thought I feel like in that vlog um, I think it was our second vlog ever yes. but in that vlog like the way I edited it like I feel like I grew like a bit in terms of my editing yeah. skills I really yeah. put an effort you know I hope you can see that in the video <laughs> But I just, I, I liked having, like, being able to express myself creatively through editing yes. that video. Yes. So that's why it's my number three. Yeah, no, I like that one. Okay, so... And Sam's time was beautiful. It really was. And the Airbnb was beautiful. Right? So, I mean, there's many okay, reasons that, that, for that, that, it to be my favorite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think after just 2020 and the year that we had, yeah, we it was a nice that. way to enter the festival also. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, my number three is our flag challenge. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> how can I forget that video? That video yeah. was hilarious. Like <laughs> we we rewatched that video like a few months ago, and we literally laughed as if we've never watched that video, as if we yeah. didn't yeah. film it. Yeah, and then you know what hilarious. was funny? I still didn't know the flag. Yes, <laughs> even the second time I watched it. But also like filming with Lucky, like, she was really funny. She was a fun time. She's honest. She was golden in yeah. that video. Yeah, and I think so. that she really did help us like with energy wise. Like, yeah, like, like lightening up. Yes. It also just yeah. And I think what I liked was in the one in that video, it we our fun side really came across. Yes. Because I think like people were still getting to know us. Yeah. We didn't know like are we funny? Are yeah. we serious? We I are. Think. Hilarious. <laughs> so I loved that challenge. Yeah. Like, it still cracks me up to this. Day. Yeah, and also like I, said, I didn't say it's my favorite, yeah. but one of the reasons I really like that video is also like our true essence, like in terms of our dynamic with Lucky, and mm. also just how we used to chill and not in front of the camera, yes. really translated yes, yes. accurately. Like, mm. and that's rare. Like, not like you don't always translate the way you are on camera, but like that video. Yeah our personalities showed so accurately like that is genuinely how we were all the time yeah so uh -huh. yeah that was nice come back lucky i'm kidding <laughs> relax okay what's your, yeah, your number two. oh my number two <laughs> yeah. is um our very first vlog so it was um your she surprised me for yes. my birthday and yes. we went to Majeka house. We went to Majeka house where we had the spa day and yeah. like swimming and all of that stuff. So that was, oh, that was beautiful. Right. And I like, I think I liked it because one, it was like, I think that's the best birthday celebration I've ever had still to this day. And then two, it yeah. was our first vlog. So it was our first time like trying this yes. vlogging thing. Yeah. And I think we did a pretty great job. Yeah. And we realized that we actually enjoy vlogging. Yeah. And yeah. we actually kind of good at it actually like the quality yeah. was really good like <laughs> even just looking at like that's our first yeah. vlog I, I still like, feel like the quality is yeah. pretty good you know yeah so yeah i, I really like that video and from my side yo aku will look beautiful like i mean you always look beautiful like but in, in that, that vlog, vlog. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. like i'm a baby now the top tier oh, thank you i'm yes. glad i look it was the birthday glow <laughs> Even though my birthday was the next day, but yes. I had the birthday girl. Right, yeah. already. Yeah. All right, cool. And then my number two was our second video, Get to Know Us. Was that uh, our second video? Yes, the second video we posted. What was the first, the trailer to that to, one? Yes. Okay, okay, so it was kind of like our first, first video. Yeah. yeah, and the Get to Know Us. I think I really liked the questions that we asked each other. I think that really 
brought through um, our intellect, the type of people that we are, how we converse, and just a glimpse into the type of conversations that we have mm -hmm. and still had at that point in time. Yeah. So I liked that. Yeah. And I really thought there were good moments of funny in that video. No, yeah. And like <laughs> the fact that that was our first video and we had like a certain, like a high level of comfort in front of the yes. camera. True. I mean, true. it's obviously gotten better with time, but like it was really like surprising yeah. and great. And it felt like it was kind of like a confirmation that, yeah, we should do this yes. YouTube thing. You know what yes. I mean? Yes. Yeah. So, so it was it was cool. Yeah, no, that I was really a very that, nice man. video. Right. Like the quality was not that bad. Not the greatest. Not the greatest. I mean it was our first video. <laughs> <laughs> and we literally I used to have a flatmate. Yes. And just she had like a, a wooden thing up behind her yeah. bed. I didn't have a headboard. Yeah. So we're like, actually, why don't we film in her room? I love that. Yeah. She was super chill though, but she was out of town. Yeah, but I'm sure she, when she watched that video, she, she was like this looks like my room <laughs> <laughs> and we just like we like no tripod nothing we use like the pillows yes to, like, position the, the pillows do we use pillows yes. oh my like, god it was, insane. it was a lot but and then we used we just had like a what did we have like bernini's or Bernini, brutal fruit yes. and we were tasting the oh, it was and great stuff. and that's how great. we like also got into always having a young drink Dev, you know in our videos yeah yeah it was a cute so one. that was my number two and then my number one is the how we met what me too really <laughs> great minds great minds yeah. um yeah how we met and the reason is because like literally it told our story of how we met mm -hmm. um and i think that gives people like a, a very intimate yeah you know yeah definitely. what i don't know what it is like yeah. an intimate a glimpse, glimpse of your glimpse, yeah. your life and how you guys your lives and how you guys met and stuff yeah. like that and also it was the first video that did really well like it got true, so many views true, true. and like we started getting comments from like a pe like people we didn't know yes. and we started getting like new subscribers yeah, or just like true. seeing true. new engagements like, on, on yes, our channel yes, yes, and that's yes. the first video where i feel like that it started I started seeing See, that yeah it's really tricky yeah. and it, it did really well like the response was amazing i felt mm -hmm. i feel like we're, we were us ourselves in that video and we just we look so good oh, and we were, like at a good place <laughs> yeah um wait like physically not physically oh, but like okay. in our lives no, just the energies definitely, definitely, in our lives and, like, well. yeah so i just yeah i enjoy i enjoy, I enjoy that video yeah i know um i second everything that she said yeah and i don't know like I still go back and watch that video Same. of us. Um, I think if we have children, which is a big if, if yeah, are they, they gonna watch that definitely, video? They're gonna know Our that grandchildren story. are gonna watch that video. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. And I think for me it was just like I love hearing that. You know what I mean? Yeah. I love hearing how people how met. How people met is so interesting and, to me. Yeah. Yes. And I think like regardless of how long people have been together whenever you ask them how did you guys meet you see that twinkle in their eyes like they like, just light up it yeah. takes you back to that moment of, yeah. of joy and and even when i watch it it still takes me back yeah you know? you're like, oh. also you're just grateful that the day happened yes. so you're just like oh my god and you're grateful god. that you remember it like yeah. you know because so, so so many days in our lives happen and we don't always remember yeah you know but they're these special moments yeah and uh yeah love it. love it love it love it yeah all right cool definitely so now you guys know our favorite or our yeah. top three videos let's so tell the question you. is <laughs> what are your, your favorites based on, and this is based on the views based on views and stuff um so all number right three cool. number three is the mukbang the seafood mukbang yes, that we did yes which is surprising Honestly. to me because like <laughs> it wasn't like my favorite to film like mm. It was okay like we had fun i was oh, happy to eat yeah no 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 we had a good time with the food we answered <laughs> the questions so it was like a chilled video too for, yeah but we just didn't think it was gonna, gonna be in the pop, top yeah, three in yeah. terms of most I think, views yeah but then when you think about it analytically yeah. it makes sense right yeah because mukbangs are really big a, a lot of people like watching yes. mukbangs they were so, also they were really like popping popping like, at the, the time, time yeah, popping, yeah yeah i think the only like i wouldn't say critique or and this is purely analytical now we're coming at you guys as how we sit in like you know the 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 boardroom of of our channel like i would have anticipated that it was one of our first few videos to also hit the thousands and whatever for it to be a gateway um to the rest of our videos 
it wasn't really yes because someone would anticipate that all you need is like one big video and then people go people watch, other go ones. watch all other ones that's not I how think it, you think that's how it works yeah. but youtube is such a mm. like a wild experience like creating yeah. content for youtube yeah. it shows you so much i don't know mm. like you just learn so much about it that like mm. like you just get confused yeah. because it, they you expect one thing and different things happen yeah, and that's how you just learn so much about youtube you're like yeah. oh that's not how it works yeah. but it's like one video can pop yeah. and then the rest don't Literally, like yeah. you think just because one pop people are gonna start looking oh, at your other yes. content but not necessarily yeah. like people can genuinely watch that video for a specific <laughs> reason because they wanted to see them, where, did, yes. maybe, where did you buy your seafood Literally, boil they and, wanted to see what our seafood boil looks like yeah. want to see you eating it and then they're like okay cool i'm done Literally. thank so, you yeah and i think that's ugh, yeah. i'm going off topic here but with youtube i've enjoyed learning how to like you know just the marketing aspect of of it what do people want like as opposed to what you think people are gonna want you enjoy shooting and yeah. you enjoy doing whatever i think and it's then, a balance between those yes, two yes and then and i think that's business and that's the world in general like they're those small skills that you have to learn like what what entices people to watch like you mm. you have to think about that but then at the same time be like wait a minute like i need to be I, you know this is my creative I need to enjoy outlet my content. and i i need to enjoy my content yeah. so that has been a very interesting journey um, yeah. um so far like and i think that's why even the 1k is so special to us like it, it like you don't know you, you never know how long it will take you to get there i think it took us two years yeah you know what i mean yeah which i think no it took us two, two years, years yeah yeah because yeah. you know? we started our channel in 29 hmm, 2019, 2019 yes yeah. i'm right 2019 yeah. march yeah that, that's when we posted our first video yeah was and it now it's 2021 March. Yeah, it was 2019. 2019. No, we filmed that video at the end of 2018. But oh, when we posted, posted it, it, it was oh, in 2019 March. Okay. Yes. I know what I'm. T I yeah, checked I it out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we filmed so. it in the house because it was 2018. Yes. But we only edited it and like actually okay. posted it okay. in in 2019. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, so I think that was just the analytical side of the mukbang. But that was number three. Yeah. And we were still grateful for it. We were still happy. Yeah, and great. And we were like, yeah. I think that from that video, we saw like, okay, cool, wait, actually 1K is a, a viable goal for this channel. It's not, that it, it's not that we didn't view it before, but it became just more realistic and tangible because we saw it happening with a video. Like in terms of the views. Yes. Okay. Yes. Drum roll, number two. Number two is Simon's Town, Garabilo's Getaway, Birthday Getaway. It was Google's number three. Yeah, so I'm, I'm literally <laughs> I'm on the same wavelength as y'all. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's also on my high radar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, you didn't choose it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't claim it now. Yeah. <laughs> no, I love that. You know I love no, it. No, I know you yeah. love it. I know you love it. <laughs> No, that one was was pretty chilled. I I agree with the. I, people. It makes sense. I agree with the people here. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I also like, agree here. Yeah, I'm like nah, we we speak. No, the now same I language. see what you're saying. Yeah. Now I'm understanding. Yeah, you. you know what I mean. Before I was like ah, <laughs> you know, but now I get it. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I have nothing to add. Thank yeah. you very much. That's yeah. it from me. Yeah, um, me too. <laughs> all right, then number one. Brrr, 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 What's number one? Brrr, brrr, how we met. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> How we met. That was also our number one. Literally. Yeah, so yeah. you see, guys. No, it makes sense. We're speaking the same language. Yeah, we're on the same page. Yeah, no, we're on yeah, the same for page. Sure. Yeah, for no. sure. I, I agree. Yeah. Nothing more to add from my side. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Is that it? That's it. I think I want to, like, quickly interview you before we end. Sure. Okay. So, let me think of a question. Quickly. What? <laughs> <laughs> I can literally edit out the quiet parts so I don't have quickly. to speak quickly. <laughs> um, so, what has been the one thing, one moment, or one thing that you feel like you felt really demotivated in this like YouTube content creation journey? Like, mm. it can be a moment or like just a period or something that happened where you're like, yo, I feel really demotivated. Should we even continue this thing? Yeah. <sighs> Should I be honest? <laughs> yeah, be honest. Okay, cool. Because I feel like as an audience or as a viewer, mm -hmm. you feel like content creation and people getting views and YouTube channels, they just pop easily. Yeah, and it's like, you yeah. know, because when you watch other YouTube, you're like, oh, this is doing so well. This yeah. is, yeah, this is a very nice, 
um, platform to be yeah. a part of, which it is, but I think it's also very tough. Like, yeah, yeah. You, there's times where you put in the work and you don't yeah. see the results, yes. and you just have you have to fuel yourself yeah. and keep yourself going. Yeah. Even though, let's say, the views aren't keeping I, you going, yeah. or the subscribers aren't yeah. keeping you going, yeah. or the engagement is very yeah. low, yeah. you have to keep saying, why am I doing this? Literally. I'm doing this because I want to do this, and I enjoy doing this, and I'm doing this for a certain purpose, yeah. and I just have to keep doing it. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think I'll be, I'll be honest as... Yo, I'm gonna be extremely honest, and if it comes back, it comes back. I'm not on Twitter, so it's fine. Um, <laughs> what are you gonna say? No, I think. Okay, this is twofold, and I'm gonna just put it out there. Number one, what has has made it difficult for, or kind of puts that doubt, or should I continue for me as Garabile? I'm not speaking with for Google here as Garabile. It has been two things mainly, right? Mm -hmm. I think number one. At times, the queer couples channel channels, queer couple channels, um, that do pop. I tend to feel as though the South African market or the viewers, right, um, kind of ex not exploit, but they expect us to perform and dehumanize and to illegitimize our relationships in order for them to be viewed and liked and pop like people that have there to, must be drama yeah there must be drama people must talk about sex people must must just talk be, about like what, yeah. what they like their favorite sex positions and you play know like I mean? dirty never have uh, I ever ever like which is uh, yeah. fine which like, is okay. i think that content is That's fine, fine. It's necessary. Like, obviously like even me it. sometimes i like watching those but yeah. I don't like that. That's the only, that's the space, only they give space that as queer couples we are given. Yeah. You know, whereas in if you were to look at your straight couples, there's a variety of There's a that variety pops. of there them. Is a there's, variety there's, that there's pops. A variety you can have of a Simon Panza and Bushy yes. type of channel. You can, you have, can have maybe um don't more know the like <laughs> ones that queer because we don't yeah. watch <laughs> we don't watch like we, yes. I, we don't watch maybe like Maybe you can have ones that talk about sex yeah. a lot, or mm. you can have ones that are more drama. You can have ones that are more pranks. Christians and pranks. Like that, actually, that yes. couple that does pranks all the time. So, like nothing serious. Yes. Ever. They don't talk about anything Literally, serious. You don't know them. What yeah, are they? you can Who are have. They? Where are they from? What are their names actually? Uh, we know their names. <laughs> <laughs> you can have Sibu and and and, and yes. Bushwa, where it's like they are serious conversations. Yes. Like there's space for just yeah. And then you can have some couples where it's all about aesthetics. Literally, like they only literally. showing you maybe their holidays. Yes, yes. They're just showing you the best parts yes, or whatever. Of, Anything of aesthetically everything. pleasing. Yes. And there's space for that. Yes. And, it's okay. And people watch it and people take it and, and people they hype it. Hype it and, and give and it then, the support. Yes. And then when it comes to queer people, the people that are there for all of your content are just that basis few like that's why i think it also took us a while to get to the 1k because we had a good like four or five hundred people that watched us that every video they did every video they commented regardless yeah. of what is taken out they want to see and then the added stuff it's always like some type of drama some type so that made it very difficult because i think it it takes back to the fact that like as queer people you must always perform like in a space you must always be the cool one you must always be the one that's best dressed you must always be like you can't just be and people are interested yes. in that they're interested in like a caricature of yes. you or some sort of stereotype or yes. you know what i mean because i mean if we're being honest lesbian lesbians or yeah. lesbian couples are known for like no not known for but like yeah. they're stereotyped into this thing of all you do is have sex Literally. all you do is talk about sex yeah. so all you do you guys are very like liberal when yeah. it comes to sex which is yeah which is it's obviously like a generalization like everyone's like yeah. that but so it's also like don't just narrow it yeah. and box people into that's all you're yeah. gonna be yeah and i think this is just like a chat in general to to just viewership and people like and and that's the point of this this um yeah. this channel to to unlock that and to get people to open up their minds and open up their spaces to allowing people to be themselves yeah. and i think allowing people to be yourself is is you even as a straight guy as a whatever we in society we live together 
know other people and how they live like i think that's that's the whole point also that, that of, of growth and how we will grow as a society and i think that's that's so great about youtube that youtube literally everything you'd like to know about things that are out there it's within your reach yeah. you know you don't have to go to bangkok now anymore or other parts of the world or to see, you what's, happening. To see what's happening like it's there so i think like when people just are still fixed like staying to what they know and whatever and still watch that that's kind of disappointing i yeah i, I agree with you and i think also for me what was like what kind of shocked not shocked me but i think was disappointing which yeah. i felt i feel naive for not seeing that this would happen yeah. but i think when we first started this channel the point was to obviously give queer people representation yeah um so ha have our viewers be queer people because you know they're searching for representation yeah. or they just sometimes you just need queer content because mm -hmm. it gets to be very True. um depressing yeah. to never see yourself in society Literally. you know what i mean yeah. so i thought it was going to be for that but then i thought a part, another part of our audience was going to be heterosexual people mm -hmm. because they want to learn more or they are interested in just learning more because mm -hmm they don't know our experiences mm. or you know what i mean or they like i watch heterosexual couples Literally. because i'm not just gonna watch queer content only yeah. like there's a variety of people out there yeah. there's a variety of content like yeah. i love watching like i'm just gonna i don't know i'm using them as an example yeah. so much like i watch sibum panza yes i'm not a black man. straight man yeah but i, I still <laughs> watch his content yes. and i still so learn so much from his content and whatever yeah. um so i thought a part of our audience was also going to be uh heterosexual people that maybe are just looking to learn looking to just know more and also just enjoy the content yeah like, it's like like just yeah. watch to watch because just the same way you can watch yes. mithali just yes. because you just want to see where she went Literally. yesterday or you just want to see Literally. her do her makeup yeah you just gonna watch you know what i mean like they, yeah. there doesn't have to be a deep reason to watch yeah. a youtube video sometimes you're just yeah. being entertained yeah so i thought that but i i'm starting to mm -hmm. see that a lot of our viewers are queer people yeah. that are obviously wanting to engage with other queer people people yeah. wanting like um enjoying that they're seeing representation yeah. and which is beautiful which i knew that was yeah. going to be a part of our audience but i didn't know it was going to be only i don't think it's only that yes. i've seen other people I've that seen, aren't queer there seen, but i'm I've saying seen. mostly yeah and i think that's disappointed me quite a bit because yeah. it's just like heterosexual people are only interested in them. themselves yeah and, and you know and the why? heterosexual experiences yes. And and you know why, yeah. sorry to cut, but you no. know why I'm like I call a whole lot of BS on that specifically is because heterosexual people go to wine farms, we vlog wine farms. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah. They're <laughs> not interested. Yes, in, in yes, they're interested in themselves. Yeah. So they're gonna watch. They would. Yeah. They are like heterosexual people yes. that post going to wine farms. Yes. So they'd rather exactly. just watch that. Yes. You know what I mean? Okay, like. I get what you're saying because they're so into themselves yeah. like even if they're talking about mm. if they're looking for couple content because yeah. when you're in a couple sometimes you do want to watch couple content they will mm. specifically if there's you and i that went to bali yes. and there's another couple that's straight they'll that went to bali to they're gonna click okay. on the straight couple because it's not like mm. the things we do straight mm. couples can't do mm. you know what i mean mm. so um yeah. in terms of vlogs obviously when we're talking sitting down talking yeah. about our experiences that's only that can only that come from a, a queer so, couple but that depends like sometimes like we did that um the Anne series video last year when we both had dreads yeah i'm saying like we're specifically was talking oh, about queer experiences yeah oh yes okay yeah. i want to end this video on on a good note yeah for sure that was <laughs> just a rant yeah um, and we, we and we have to, we're grateful we have it <laughs> but like obviously you just have these thoughts sometimes yeah i just feel like it's and i think yeah. the, the point of it is is let's 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 have the discussion in 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 our chats like you guys watch comments you guys yeah sorry now comments you guys watch and i know some of the people that watch us they are also queer um youtube content creators, creators yeah you know like let's have those discussions so that within our own spaces what can we do then you yeah. know what i mean what can what can we do and then i think on the, on a final note i think the the moment that you were the most proud of the channel Mm, ooh. I think it's this now. Yeah. I think it's last year. Yeah. 
when you and I lived together. Yeah. So we were just like very. There was a time where we were very consistent. Yeah. Like we were posting every Sunday. I yes. think. Yeah. Yes. So every Sunday there was a video that was dropped. Yeah. Um, amidst all the like, obviously we we're in a pandemic. Yeah, amidst true. like uh, you working, me studying, yeah. and like how all busy we were, yeah. we still like would create time and make time yeah. for um us filming and then mm. us um editing, editing and all of that and just out. making sure that we make this channel a priority as yeah. much as we make other things a priority in our lives. So I think that made me really proud of us. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and then my proudest moment. Um, there was a time when your aunt called you, remember? Yeah, and an aunt that I hadn't spoken to in years. In years, right? And actually, I think like shout years. out to also like um, we have like an audience of the older generation. Yes, actually, who watch we do. and by older, and I that don't me. Mean, like people yeah, in their thirties, thirties, forties, and stuff, and. We really appreciate that, like yeah. you know, and we want to. I think I'm shocked by that. I thought we were only yeah. gonna have like <laughs> people in their twenties, to be honest. Yes. Yeah, but to have people it's in their thirties and stuff, and you know them coming to us and then being like, "Oh, that was a nice video," mm -hmm. or oh, "Wow," you know. And I think one. Oh, of I the, learned so much. Yes. From just, yeah. And one of the things that um, she said was she enjoys watching um, our videos and and particularly our discussions. Because like we, sh um, it's kind of a realistic view of how it is to be queer. You know what I mean? Because most of the time, TV will show the celebrities, they'll show the good times, and obviously how Somizi is treated when he walks down the street it's compared to same. another queer person who's just a normal, regular, regular, like myself, like myself, is very different. And I think having people be aware of the realities you know of of that i think for her to say that i had never even thought about that and that's when i was like wow yeah you know and and then i go back to the fact that like we here we in cape town you know um financially we can go yana to a wine taste and whatever and i always think back for those people who you know um they're in small towns they you know what i mean like they don't have that that space and the freedom that Cape Town particularly can give you, can give you to walk to just around. Speak yeah. And, yeah. Like literally yesterday, Gu and I were at VNA and we were holding hands. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah. Um, yeah shout that is out. not a reality for a lot of people. <laughs> literally. So we, re it's I think, not. recognizing that and that is what keeps me going. And that is what honestly is also going to. You see what's going to happen, what's going to come through in the next few years in our channel. Just always remember that that is literally the, the foundation of, 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 the, of the trajectory of our channel. Just normalizing yeah. being queer and just living queer. Yeah. And not having to yeah. perform, to, like just waking up in the morning yeah. and living yeah. your life. Yeah. yeah. Literally. That's it. But wow. It's... Burr, 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 1K. Let's be happy. Remember, if you have not watched any of the nine videos, that were chatted here. It's not nine. Okay, yeah, someone repeat it. Seven, whatever. <laughs> Plus, minus. Yeah. Go. And if you're new, join, stay, subscribe. Because mm, from one k, it's ten thousand. Okay. <laughs> I thought we went from one to okay. No, all I do is add zeros, honey. Okay. Oh, <laughs> and then from ten thousand, it's hundred. Okay. Um, I like the exponential <laughs> way that yeah, you're doing it. Yeah, yeah, growth, yeah. yeah. But once again, I am Kiara Vilo and I am Gugu. And we are your, your favorite, favorite queer couple. couple. <laughs> Thank you guys. Bye. Bye.